Hello, in this tutorial, you will learn how to make a nail texture. I'm going to be showing you a couple of techniques and different shapes, okay? I'm going to be using the program again, so let's begin. Let's go to File, New, set our width and height to 128 by 128. Click on Advanced Options, make sure our fill width is set to Transparency. And click OK. Next, we're going to select our nail color. Okay. I'm going to be selecting this light pink. The HTML notation for it is FF9AB9. Then select your bucket fill tool. Make sure the mode is on normal. The opacity is at 100%. The foreground color fill and fill hole selection are both selected. And then just fill it in. Okay. Then make a new layer. Set your foreground color to white with six Fs. Okay. Select your blend tool. Make sure your mode is on normal and your opacity is at 100%. Then set your gradient to FG to transparent and your shape to bilinear. Okay? Now we're going to stroke in the center or try and stroke as close to the center as we can get. And don't worry, you can always move it. Just select the move tool and then just move it to where you like. Okay? Or in the center, that is. I'm going to press and hold the control key button to get a straight line and a stroke. Okay. Let me go over just a little bit. There we go. Next set the layers mode to um overlay. Okay. Then go to filters. Blur and gosh and blur. Then set the horizontal and vertical to ten. Okay. And there you have your basic nail texture. Okay. You can play around with how short or long you stroke the um shine and get different shapes or sizes and um also play around with the blur the gosh and blur to get different shine effects so just play around with it and see what you get okay then from there just go to file save as give it a name select the file type and folder and there you go next i'm going to show you how to make a french nail um texture okay you don't have to merge the two layers together, but I am. I'm going to make a new layer. Making sure the width and height are both at 128 by 128. And the layer fill type is on transparency. Okay. Next, I'm going to select my ellipse select tool. Okay. I'm going to make a circle or oval, and when I make it, I want to bring it out and down, okay? I want it to get past the lower part of the box or layer boundary, or whichever you prefer to call it, okay? Now, I'm going to shape it, and when you're um, reshaping it, make sure that you keep in mind that this top part is going to become the tip, okay? So kind of look back on that as you're moving the um, circle around, okay? Just like that, and you can move it up or down however small or tall you want your um, tip to be. I'm going to go about there. Then you can either select your... Um, Bucket fill tool, select the color tip you want, and then just fill it in. Or, um, 
you can select your um, lens tool, set it to bilinear, and then you know play with that and the colors and stuff like that. Um, make sure you go to select and invert so that only that tip area will be selected so when you go to fill it in that's the only part that will be filled in okay and make sure you do that on a new layer I say do it on a new layer just in case you know you don't get exactly what you want you can always go back without having to mess with the nail okay so there's your French nail. You could also grab the um, rectangle select tool, maybe make a square at the top and fill it in like that. Or take the ellipse tool and make a circle like this. And then bring it up and make sure that the um, circle goes when you make it that it goes right over that corner okay and then just fill that in and that would be a different shape I'll do that real quick and make a new layer just so you can see what it looks like okay and fill that in okay so you have that shape or this shape or if you do mess around with the ellipse tool the reselect tool and the um rectangle select tool and get different shape tips okay um which one do I like the best I like this one just because it looks like something um just looks a little more natural um, but it's whatever you prefer. You can just use one or the other, or you can, you know, mix it up, you know. Um, just have fun with it and experiment and see what you get, okay? And then just go to File, Save As, give it a name and save it, okay? And then just get, for different designs, get your text involved, maybe, or your brushes, the brushes you have, and just mess around. Um, use your select tool to make maybe stripes, or maybe a circle, or whatever the case may be. Um, let me show you real quick. Let me bring this down here. Okay. Make a new layer. Then grab your ellipse tool, and just make a circle. And you want to get it on that corner and then get that bottom part on the corner as well, okay? So you want it to look like this, okay? And then what I'm going to do is go to select. and border. And I'm going to set it to 2. Then what I'm going to do is select my rectangle select tool, set the mode to subtract, and I'm just going to go over the areas that I don't want to be selected. Okay. You can also do that with the ellipse tool or free select tool. Okay. And see how that just took away those areas at the top and this side. I didn't want them to be there. Also, we just want it to be on the nail part and not on the French tip. <clears throat> Take your free select tool, set it to subtract, the mode to subtract, and then basically just go around the area that you don't want. And there you go. And then you can also kind of go go like that um, see and it's just on the nail part okay and then just fill it in I'm gonna select this light gray real quick fill that in or you can use the um, 
blend tool and you know use a gradient on that if you'd like and then go to filters noise RGB noise RGB noise okay and then um, make sure your correlated noise and independent RGB are unchecked and set your red green and blue to 0 0.80 okay I didn't bring it up all the way because I feel that's a little too intense for nails um, but it's whatever you like you can play around with the um, noise and see what you get um, for nails I think 0 0.80 is just enough it gives you just the right amount of sparkle that you need so just play around with that click OK make sure you do that on a new layer you don't want to do that on your French tip layer and then or your no layer and accidentally mess up and then you can't go back well you can but you know okay and then go to my how to make nails thread okay and then select one that you like to derive from I'm just going to select the box cut square edge scroll down to the creator tools box and click on derive from product okay Yes, I use the um, older version of the previewer. I just like this version um, personally. I have nothing against the um, previewer in the 3D window. I just prefer this one. If maybe you like the older version of the previewer but don't have it, or maybe you uninstalled it and want it back, you can just go to forums, um, scroll down to the bottom where you see search. And search in the download for that and a lot of people have been um, putting that up so it shouldn't be that hard to find if you want it okay let it load I'm hoping it'll load fast for me <laughs> okay let me um Zoom in on the nails really quick. I'm going to select M09. That's the nail layer. And um, check two sided so when I turn it around, I'll still see it. Self illuminate it to give it a little extra shine. Fog override to override products that you or someone else may be wearing or that might be in a club and use blending to kind of smooth out the edges okay then click on the picture or click on change texture and select the texture okay I'll just select this one that I made a glitter strip on and you can make several strips or maybe makes making um X or you know just play around with it and see what you get okay it's about having fun and enjoying creating. Okay? And there you go. Alright? So remember, just have fun with it. And um, look out for more tutorials that will be coming your way. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.